Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator and in this video we are going to take a look at the Orter Alfero Laser 1 a small laser machine with a work size of 180 by 180 millimeters and well although it's a small machine and also a very affordable machine it's a very powerful machine now what you see here is the Orter Alfero Laser 1 and Alfero that's the sub brand of Orter uh, with which they make yeah more affordable machines so uh, there are other machines also coming out in the name Alfero uh, as this is the cheaper range of the Orter family now this machine is an acrylic frame with aluminum extrusions on which the machine rolls and uh, it's a very sturdy machine and I placed it on, well, on top of a piece of wood uh, just because that makes life easier for me. This machine is run off a 24 volt power supply. It's got a USB port and the USB port is to connect it with your computer. Uh, it's got an offline controller port and this offline controller is the same offline controller that is used on the Orter Laser Master 2 Pro machine. So it's compatible with that same, uh, well, same controller. Now also the laser heads that are used on this machine, uh, because it's a 24 volt machine, all these lasers are uh, switchable between the Orter Laser Master 2 Pro. You have to make sure it's the Pro version uh, because the Laser Master 2 without Pro on it it's a 12 volt machine and this is a 24 volt machine uh, but as I say the laser heads will be compatible to swap out. Now I say laser heads and the reason I do this is because there are more laser heads that you can choose from. You have the laser head that's on the machine, which I've shown there, uh, which is a 5.5 watt laser with a short focus of only 20 millimeters. But then there is also this one, which is also a 5.5 watt laser. And uh, this has a long throw. Uh, this is a 50 millimeter uh, focus distance. And uh, well, this one comes with an air assist. So you can use it with the air assist uh, yeah, to, to make deep cuts. And also there is this one over here, and uh, this is an engraving laser. A laser that is made for uh, yeah, having a lower power, it's only 1.6 watt. By the way, all the wattages that I mentioned are the real optical output power. So 5.5 watt for this one, 5.5 watt for the one that is mounted on the laser frame at this moment and 1.6 watts for this one. These are the real optical output powers. Um, now, those are the lasers that you can choose from. And uh, well, if you want to know which one to choose if you want to buy this laser, then you have to see the video that I made here. And this is the video about the differences between the, the lasers that I'm showing here. But when you buy the Alfero Laser 1, then you can choose which version you want to buy, which laser head you want to have attached to it. So it doesn't come with all three the laser heads, it comes with only one. And you have to choose well, which one you are going to use. In this video, I'm using this laser because I want to show you how I'm going to engrave very tiny things. Things like wood, but also uh, aluminum, which is an uh, anodized. So let's take a look at the capabilities of this laser. Now, as you can see, I mounted my laser on a wooden board and there is a reason for that. So when we go here to my Lightburn software, this is the software that I use for laser engraving. And uh, well, you saw the pattern that I have uh, on my laser uh, board. And now I'm going to open here in Lightburn the grids. And you will see I've got this Alfero grid. This grid for Lightburn is here uh, under the layers and it's a tool layer. And this means that this is not something uh, which is going to be burned, but it's very easy that I have this because I have it on my laser as well. So it's very handy 
to align things. Now, you have to make sure that you're not changing this grid, of course. So therefore, I'm going to move it to the side. And now I'm going to make a text layer on which I'm going to make some text. And I do it over here. Now, I would like to make something for my dog. So my dog is called Carmen. And uh, I want to have the address as well. So, or, or my phone number. So I type in my phone number. And of course, this is not my real phone number, but hey, you get the idea. Now, I'm going to bring this to the center of the wooden board. And as you can see, it snaps. So therefore, I know that this is exactly the center. But the things that I am going to engrave, well, they are a lot smaller. So I want to make sure that this is only 15 millimeters in size. So that's what I do. And also, I want to have the height set at only 5 millimeters. Now let's zoom in a bit and see what I've done. I've created these letters, which by the way are single line fonts. I made a video about it, which you can find in the upper left corner or in the selection down below. Um, this is a single line font and well, this will be very easy to engrave on anything that I put under my laser. Now let's see what happens when I'm going to engrave this. So first of all, I want to make sure that the material on which I'm going to engrave this fits under my laser and will be at the correct height. So I'm going to line up the laser with it. And well, this will be the correct height. This mount that I've got over here, uh, this is exactly 20 millimeters in height or 90 millimeters in height, so it can hover one millimeter over the material. So now when I connect this and it hovers over the thing that I'm going to engrave, well, you can see that it's on the correct height setting. Now, because I've got this grid, it will be easy to align things on the grid. So here I can align perfectly in the center of the grid. And therefore I know that this is going to be a correct alignment and that my laser can hover over it. So now that we know this, we can go back to the software and we can home the laser, which is of course here. And now we can go for the correct settings. Now I already have the settings here. Those are 1200 millimeters a minute by 80 watt laser power. And uh, well, I'm going to see what happens if I'm going to frame this. So there it is. And now I'm going to burn this. And as you can see, single line fonts are going extremely well uh, and extremely fast. So you can use this to make fast engravings. So this is something I can put on the color of my dock. And uh, well, let's show it a little bit more in detail. Over here, if the camera will focus. Now here it is, and well, I made a slight mistake with the placement, but as you can see, it's very nice and it's a single line font, so very good. Now, of course, we also want to know if this will work on anodized aluminum. So let's try some anodized aluminum with it. Now, you guys have to know that I get a lot of questions from people who are willing to use these lasers commercially. And one of the things that are asked uh, very frequently is if this laser will be capable, lasers like this, and not only this one, but those diode lasers, will be capable of engraving in anodized aluminum or in uh, well, other anodized pieces of steel. Now, things like this, if you are going to use it on a dark color, uh, then you want to have multiple lines of text in it. 
like for example the name of the dog, the phone number of the owner, but maybe also the address of the owner or uh, the dog's number on which it's known uh, when the animal ambulance is called, if the dog is found somewhere. So those things, yeah, people want to know if a laser like this is capable of engraving multiple lines in a small workpiece like this. And now, because we want to know this, I'm going to change the text that we can see over here. So first I'm going to select it, then double click it, go to the end, and I write down uh, my street name with the correct number, and also the place where I live. So if people find my dog, they can bring it home or call me. Now, of course, this is a bigger size than it used to be, uh, so I have to make it smaller. Now, I select the text again, here it is, and I'm just going to resize it, like, for example, uh, eight millimeters in high. And this is what you will get. Now, will this laser be capable of engraving this in a thing like this, a very small part? Well, let's see. Now, I did this off screen, but of course I changed the speed in which the laser is going to engrave. So this laser is now working at only 100 millimeters a minute, and I've got it on 100% uh, power. But still, it's the same laser head, it's the same software, and uh, I only changed some settings to be able to uh, yeah, engrave in anodized aluminum. And well, you will see the result shortly. And as you can see, multi-line engravings, well, they're not a problem at all. If you use single line fonts, and uh, a video explaining that will be in that upper corner over there, uh, but if you use single line fonts, then, well, it's very easy to make these single line engravings and use multiple lines of text on a single small piece. So now I've shown you how to make engravings in wood or in anodized aluminum or an other anodized materials like uh, well steel or that kind of things but there are some well some more difficult materials that i also want to show you like for example what i've got here this is a stone plate something which can yeah, can be used to make a very luxurious dinner and will this laser also be able to engrave in this material well let's find out so let's see how we can engrave Bon Appetit in this plate. So to engrave on this material, I of course want to make sure to be on the correct height. So first of all, I'm going to level my laser and see if it's able to run freely on it. And if so, well, then we are going to start the laser.
So as you could see, engraving on stone, well, it's no problem at all for this laser. 5.5 watts on a diode laser, it's more than strong enough to engrave on stone plates and things like that. So yeah, this is what this video is about. I hope you liked it and I've got a surprise for you. Because when I was making my first laser videos for my channel, I told you that those diode lasers, well, they are not that good for doing commercial stuff with it, doing commercial work with it. But as you can see this uh, board here that you see over here, well, these kinds of things I make and I do sell them online. And to be honest, they sell quite good. So uh, yeah, I think these lasers nowadays can be used commercially as well as long as you're smart enough not to use them without protection. You have to be very, very sure that you use them with some protection. But hey, these are the things I make online and well, people seem to like them a lot and I like them as well. So this was it. I hope to see you again in a next video. Thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe and like the video and uh, well, I will see you guys later. Bye bye.